the scandal and all that. I told them that, you know, I think Tom would throw you under the bus and save himself. She's, you know, taking care of herself. Um, I saw her yesterday and we're excited. She's excited. Are you ready for some juicy celebrity gossip? Buckle up because we're about to dive into the scandalous world of Katie Maloney. From her drama-filled stint on Vanderpump Rules to her explosive feuds with her castmates, this reality TV star knows how to keep us on the edge of our seats. And if you thought her antics were wild before, just wait until you hear about her latest scandal. So grab your popcorn and get ready to dish with us. Stay up to date on all the spicy celebrity news with Celebrity Pop. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications now. Join the ride and let's dish on the latest scandals together. Today's episode is all about the one and only Katie Maloney and her latest revelations about the Tom and Tom duo, specifically Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval. In case you've been living under a rock, let's catch you up on the tea. Tom Sandoval, one half of the dynamic duo that is Tom Tom, cheated on his long-term girlfriend, Ariana Maddox, with the lovely Raquel Levis, and as expected, chaos ensued. But what about the bromance between Sandoval and Schwartz, you ask? Well, according to Katie Maloney, Sandoval is leading Tom Tom's friendship. Hmm, interesting. Katie Maloney is known for stirring the pot and revealing juicy details about their relationships on Vanderpump Rules. In a recent episode of The Vile Files, Katie opened up about the status of Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval's friendship after Sandoval cheated on his girlfriend, Ariana Maddox, with Raquel Levis. But seriously, let's uh, unpack this a bit. It's clear that Katie has some deep-seated issues with Sandoval and his treatment of Schwartz. She even goes so far as to say that Schwartz doesn't realize he has a choice in the matter. Yikes. According to Katie, Schwartz feels like he has to be loyal to Sandoval, but she thinks he doesn't realize that he has other options. She goes on to say that Schwartz is very subservient to Sandoval and allows him to take the lead in their friendship and business ventures. Katie then provides a hypothetical scenario where Sandoval is in trouble and Schwartz is the one who can help him. She tells Schwartz that she believes Sandoval would throw him under the bus and save himself if the roles were reversed. She even goes as far as to say that Sandoval would drown you if the ship was sinking, he'd hop in a lifeboat. And can we talk about the idioms here? Throw you under the bus, save himself, drown you if the ship was sinking? It's like we're in the middle of a suspense novel. Bravo, Katie. <laughs> Bravo would throw you under the bus and save himself like he would drown you if the ship was sinking now we all know that katie isn't one to hold back her opinions and this revelation is no different she thinks that schwartz needs to stand up for himself and not let sandoval take advantage of him but let's not forget about poor ariana this whole situation has to be incredibly painful for her and to make matters worse it's all over national television for the world to see talk about adding insult to injury it's no wonder she's been keeping a low profile lately well, it looks like Tom Sandoval is not letting the drama surrounding his affair with Raquel Levis affect his music career. Despite all the drama and tension swirling around him, Sandoval decided that the show must go on. The Vanderpump Rules star recently took to the stage with his cover band, Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras, for two concerts over the weekend. It's not every day that you see a reality TV star show off their musical talents, meanwhile living a highly scandalous life. But Tom Sandoval is not your average celebrity. The Vanderpump Rules star has always had a passion for music, and he's not afraid to put himself out there and perform for his fans. And while some may question his decision to perform amid the fallout from his affair with Raquel Levis, Sandoval seems determined to keep his music career alive and well. In fact, he's been quite active in the music scene in recent years, even releasing a single titled Funkin' Around in 2019. But it's not just his music that has fans talking, it's also his fashion sense, or <laughs> lack thereof. During his recent concerts, Sandoval made quite the fashion statement by ditching his shirt and flaunting his stone physique. On Friday night at the Canyon in Montclair, the Bravo Liberty went all out, flexing his muscles for the crowd sans shirt and wearing sparkly black pants that left little to the imagination. The audience was clearly loving it, singing along with Sandoval as he belted out popular tunes like We're Young by Fun. And if that wasn't enough to get the crowd going, Sandoval also made sure to keep the party going by pouring shots of liquor into plastic cups and handing them out to the audience. Talk about a wild night. Of course, not everyone is a fan of Sandoval's antics. Some may argue that he's not taking the situation with Levis seriously enough, and that his behavior is only making things worse. But others may argue that Sandoval is simply doing what he loves and expressing himself through music. Let's not forget that the show must go on even in the face of personal drama, and it seems like the audience at Sandoval's concerts was all for it. 
Hundreds of people packed the venues, singing along with Sandoval and enjoying the upbeat atmosphere. And the fun didn't stop there. But hey, are you still on the fence about subscribing to our channel, Celebrity Pop? What are you waiting for? Don't miss out on all the juicy celebrity news, gossip, and scandals we dish out every day. So the following evening, Sandoval and his band took to the stage at another canyon venue in Agora Hills, where they once again wowed the crowd with their musical talents and a high-energy performance. But while Sandoval may have been at the center of attention on stage, the fallout from his affair with Levis was still looming in the background. It remains to be seen how his fellow cast members and business partners will react to his infidelity, but one thing's for sure. Sandoval is not letting it get in the way of his music. With his rock star persona and catchy tunes, Sandoval proved once again that he knows how to put on a show. And who knows, maybe this performance was just what he needed to take his mind off of the drama and focus on what really mattered, the music. Tom Sandoval's shirtless performance with his cover band may have been a hit with fans, but not everyone was as forgiving. According to eyewitnesses, an audience member at one of his concerts was overheard asking a friend if they should forgive the frontman for cheating on Ariana Maddox with Raquel Levis. It seems like Sandoval is trying to make amends with his fans by showering them with love and alcohol. During both concerts, he poured shots of liquor into plastic cups and handed them out to the crowd. And when he wasn't playing the trumpet, an acoustic guitar, or a drum, he was thanking his fans profusely. I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for you guys, so I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, you guys are so amazing, love you all. But while Sandoval was busy rocking out, Ariana Maddox was also making her own statement. She joined her closest girlfriends Sheena Shea and Katie Maloney for Emo Night in Los Angeles, where they rocked out to several punk songs. But it was Maddox who stole the show when she stuck her middle finger up in the air. Shay also showed support for her BFF by telling the crowd, I said fuck Tom in case you didn't hear me. Well folks, that's not it. After Tom Schwartz's bombshell filled appearance on Watch What Happens Live, where he spilled the beans on his best friend Tom Sandoval's affair with co-star Raquel Levis, Andy Cohen had some advice for Schwartz. Watch what you say. According to Andy Cohen, the mastermind behind the Real Housewives franchise and host of the late night talk show, he had to step in and offer some advice to the reality TV star after he went on a bit of a rambling spree. During the show, Schwartz made a series of headline-making revelations about his best friend, Tom Sandoval, and his affair with co-star Raquel Levis. He called Sandoval addicted to Levis and described their relationship as toxic, among other shocking claims. But it seems that Schwartz may have gone a little too far with his word salad, prompting Cohen to offer some interview tips. I told Tom Schwartz that you answer the question and then you stop talking. And when you stop talking, that means I have to say something," Cohen revealed on his Sirius XM show, Andy Cohen Live on Monday. Wise words indeed. Cohen went on to reflect on Schwartz's many revelations during the interview, including calling his ex-wife, Katie Maloney, a monster and encouraging people to give Sandoval a hug. Just leave it there, just leave it there, Cohen exclaimed, urging Schwartz to keep his answers concise and to the point. But, while Schwartz may have caused a stir with his bombshell revelations, it seems that the drama is far from over. Bravo cameras were rolling as the cast reconvened for what Cohen has described as a nuclear reunion taping, which promises to bring even more twists and turns to the ongoing scandal. And with Schwartz and Sandoval's friendship seemingly on the rocks, it remains to be seen how the fallout from Scandoval will impact their co-owned businesses, TomTom Tom and Schwartz and Sandys. Will they be able to put their differences aside and work together, or will the drama continue to simmer and boil over? Will all this Vanderpump Rules drama be over? Who knows? And that's where we come in. We'll keep you updated. Make sure to stay up to date on all the latest celebrity news and gossip by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, keep it spicy.